the great one, Michael Jordan. His mark left indelibly on the city of Chicago. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Hello, everyone. Great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. First for Boston, Isaiah Thomas out there with Avery Bradley. And holding down the middle, a tremendously hardworking and versatile big man out of the Dominican Republic, Al Horford. Then it's Jay Crowder, and it's Johnson in at the four. And for Chicago, Carter Williams is out there with Dwayne Wade. And playing at the center position, one of the Lopez twins out of Stanford, seven-foot banger, Robin Lopez. And there's Jimmy Butler. You know, a big part of why the Celtics dropped so much last season was they weren't very good on the road. Ended with a 14 and 27 record away from home, which was by far the lowest of any team in the East that made the playoffs. Here's Crowder back to Thomas. Thomas off a pick from Horford. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And as you said, Clark, rarely can you win just over a third of your road games like the Celtics did and, and expect to make the playoffs. And now had they played closer to 500 on the road. Yeah, Steve, there's a good chance they could have ended up as the fifth or, or the fourth seed. Well, and in the Celtics' case, it wasn't their defense, Kevin. It was their offense that betrayed them when they went out onto the road. They just couldn't win the close games. And... Uh, some of it was just age and injury, but uh, so many of those road losses from last year just came back to haunt them, and that's why they ended up with that seven seed. Butler against Thomas. Feeds it to Horford. Back to Thomas. Fires the three. Goes back up, and Horford with the lay-in. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Now, Kevin, here's what the Celtics head coach had to say when we spoke just a few minutes ago. We talked about their defensive game plan, and he said, for Dwayne Wade, you've got to make him a jump shooter and not fight for his pump fakes. When you do that, it's a foul or he's going to go right by you for the dunk. Kevin Wade known for that deadly shot fake. We'll see if they can stay disciplined. And thank you for that, Doris. Now here's Wade. No good. Bradley with some nice D. Pass to Thomas. Fires for three. Offensive rebound. He shoots again. And Horford finishes inside. Horford's got five points so far. Bulls still looking like they're getting going. It's a five-point game. Wade kicks to Lopez. Now the feed to Butler. Butler off a pick from Lopez. Butler goes in. Johnson with the block. Now here's Thomas. the end of the first quarter Celtics lead by five from the United Center in Chicago back in a moment and the first quarter is in the books second about ready to get underway and what do you guys think about Boston here in this one and this team has done a nice job on the glass. I think that's how they've built this lead. They've been very physical, really established a presence in the paint. Well, they've chased down those balls. As soon as they've hit the iron, they've been chasing them down. That's been a solid effort by them. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. Well, I tell you what, you consider all the injuries the Bulls had last year, and you look at the 34-18 mark against the Eastern Conference, and it's absolutely remarkable considering what they had to go through personnel-wise. The shot by Wade, no good. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. 
Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. Here's Crowder. Five point lead, the biggest of the game. Outside Brandon. Back to Thomas. There's the pass to Crowder. No good from outside. And back to the Bulls in the East. It wasn't just one guy who stepped in the shoes of Rose or the departed Asha. It, it, really, it was a group effort. You know, you looked at the roster last year, you kind of scratch your head and go, how is this team going to get to the second round without Derrick Rose? But they did it with a group of role players, with a front line that was tough and nasty and rebounded well, and with great coaching, too. Here's Thomas after one John Rondo's bucket. I'd like to see them go two for one here. I would, too. They need to make this a quick possession and a fruitful one, too. Miritic sets the screen for Wade. He feeds it to Rondo. And they double up Rondo. Here's Miritic. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. Celtics leading by three. Johnson kicks to Thomas. Right side, Thomas. Here's Bradley. Back to Thomas. Horford with the screen on run. Here's Crowder. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. And that is simply a dagger on the way to the locker room. That three-pointer feels like a six-pointer coming when it did right at the end of the half. And that does it for the first half of play. Boston on top. They're up by six. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome to a Thursday edition of the Halftime Report. Boston leading against Chicago. Tenacious offensive rebounding. Their second chance points are piling up. Al Horford certainly contributing with his play. He's got five points and three rebounds as well. And a tough matchup, but the Bulls are staying afloat. A precision offensive attack, maximizing possessions. They're avoiding turnovers. It's just a beautiful game tonight. And that's it for us here in the studio. Time to send it on back out to Kevin Harlan and the gang for the start of the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Al Horford with a strong contribution so far in this one. Boy, his rebounding was superb in that first half, particularly at the offensive end where he's really battling. And that continually allowed them to get two quality shots on the same possession, Steve. That's invaluable. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Passes it to Carter Williams. Six on the shot clock. Puts it up from 12. Here's Lopez. A stupendous finish in traffic. Lopez has got the first field goal of the second half for the Bulls. You know, Kevin, he never gives up on a play. That's what I love about him. He's just he's one of those guys who will bring effort and energy the entire 48 minutes. No question about it. I mean, when you talk about bruisers, that's his game. I mean, he's put that time in in the weight room, and guess what? Now he's putting that strength and muscle to use. Here's Wade following the basket by Al Horford. Carter Williams, the pass to Wade. Dishes it to Carter Williams. Back to Wade. Wade, right side. Gets stolen by Bradley. Thomas goes in. Side Thomas, Bradley. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Bradley's got himself on the board with three there. Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. There's the pick. Pass to Lopez.
He dishes it to Carter Williams. Kicks it to Wade. Shot clock at five. Horford with the block. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Horford's got the ball. That's good. Yeah, he put himself in great position to finish that break off, guys. Yep, right to the rack. Wade gets to Carter Williams. Number 16. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Celtics lead by 11. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Celtics. Now we've seen them make that extra effort rotating from the weak side. Closing out on their airspace. Really sending shots back. The number of second chance points they've gotten is also impressive. I mean, they've kept so many possessions alive with offensive rebounds. Bulls trail by 11. And here we go. Fast break. Wade's got it. And Carter Williams slams it in. Clark, can you believe it? A point where you can soar like that. Man, I tell you what, that's a major elevation there. That's a power finish for a player at any position. Mm -hmm. Well, he is not afraid to take it inside. We know that. Thomas kicks to Horford. He had stolen by Carter Williams. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter. Some solid defense from Crowder. And the foul on Avery Bradley. That'll be his second foul of the game. Rajon Rondo's checked in for the Bulls. Not a lot of time left for the Bulls in this one. And it's Wade penetrating. And stolen by Horford. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. Outside Bradley. He passes to Thomas. There's three pointers off the mark. The Bulls shooting only 21% from the field so far. Wade with it. Now guarded by Bradley. A drive by Wade. Here's Lopez. A rebound by Johnson. And I think the lead they've built here, guys, is in large part due to what they've done on the boards. Absolutely. I mean, they have a plus 10 advantage in rebounds, and they've been in total control of the backboard. From deep, Thomas. Boston. No good that time either. I like the defense, guys, really getting a hand up and challenging shots. Yes, yeah, Steve, lurking on that shot, and that was a tough one. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. Horford dishes to Bradley. He kicks it to Crowder. Outside Thomas. Hands it from downtown. And the Celtics lead by 12. Well, guys, tonight they came in here and really dictated the terms of the engagement, which is very difficult to do as the visitors. You're right. That's not usually the way things work in the NBA. It's a great win and no question. It's going to be a happy playing ride out of here. Lopez with the bucket. He really made that mismatch pay off. A defender giving up that much size isn't going to be able to put up much resistance near the basket. Here's Bradley. No good. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Al Horford.